Riverdale Season 6 was a wild roller coaster, but we strongly believe Season 7, which is said to be the last one of the show, will bring a happily ever after for Jughead and Betty. You're probably wondering why is Jughead's facial expression the way it is on the thumbnail? Well, here's your answer. Just a fair warning, spoilers for Riverdale Season 6 follow. Season 7 will be the last one. On January 26, 2017, The CW released the first episode of one of its most successful TV shows, Riverdale. It's been five years after the pilot episode, and we're still enjoying the story about Jughead, Betty, Veronica, and Archie. But all good things must come to an end. Riverdale is currently in its sixth season on the network, and it appears as we've reached the end of the series. In a recent Instagram Live, Lily Reinhardt, who stars as Betty Cooper, said Riverdale might end with season 7, and honestly, the world has never been the same ever since. To be fair, Riverdale is not the same show we've all enjoyed in season 1. These last few seasons often lack a good plot and quality, but that doesn't really matter because we've already hooked up on the story, and we want more of Jughead and Betty, let's be honest here. We can't let the show end without them being together. We've spent five years shipping them, going through heartbreaks, reunions, then heartbreaks again, and if Riverdale never gives them the happily ever after they deserve, well, fans will be mad. I don't know. We're hoping for a season 7, Reinhardt said in her live video. And then that will probably be the last one. Just to be clear, this doesn't mean Riverdale is 100% ending with season 7. In fact, the CW is yet to renew Riverdale for a continuation, so at this point, Reinhardt's comments are just assumptions and rumors. But then again, there has to be a reason Lily said this. You can't just go live on Instagram and talk about a show you've been in for five years and talk about that show's conclusion. The seventh season of Riverdale will be greenlighted soon, at least based on the plot we're seeing in season six. According to an interview KJ Appa did with Decider on March 13, 2020, the actor had been contracted for the next three years, but did he mean three seasons or three years? No one will ever know. Nevertheless, his contract is expected to last until 2023, and if that's the case with him, it goes the same with Reinhardt, Camilla Mendes, Cole Sprouse, Casey Codd, Matt Chen Amick, and Madeleine Pitch. The minute season 6 has arrived on Netflix, Riverdale fans were all confused. There have been a lot of changes and storylines that don't really make sense. And if you're still confused by the plot of Riverdale season 6, you have all the reasons to be. Lily Reinhardt actually explained the confusing premise on Twitter, and as it turns out, the first five episodes of season six are a special event, and that's the reason for the temporary title, Rivervale. Season six starts off with a special five episode event, which takes place in a different universe, Rivervale, Lily said. We really believe Riverdale will last for two or three more seasons because most fans would crave for more of the story. And despite ratings for the series constantly going down, the show does well on streaming. Before we get into more details regarding Riverdale Season 7, we first need to talk about... Hey, Cooper. Whatever happens, we'll face it together. Riverdale Season 6 Part 2 Release Date Riverdale's five-episode event concluded in December 2021. Oh, and the series hit its milestone 100th episode, an event that Riverdale cast and crew celebrated. However, it appears as Riverdale will come back with Season 6 later than expected. The series, which released its episodes on Sunday, March 6th these last years, will now be back two weeks later, on March the 20th. Riverdale Season 6 Part 2 will continue right after the events of Rivervale, and we can expect a lot of drama, romance, and of course, mystery in Season 6 Part 2. As showrunner Roberto Aguirre Sacasa explained in an interview with EW at the start of the Rivervale, we sort of said, what would be really fun is if we could figure out a way to tell these stories in Rivervale and then figure out some way that they were in continuity and that they affected and informed the rest of Season 6. One of the best things about Rivervale is that Episode 4 of Season 6 is a crossover between Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Riverdale, featuring Kieran and Shipka reprising her role. Sadly, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina got cancelled two years ago. The reason for the cancellation is the ongoing pandemic. In July of 2020, shows like The Society and Glow, which Netflix had already renewed for more seasons, got cancelled because of the pandemic. Now let's talk about something really exciting. Riverdale Season 7 Plot You see, a lot of fans believe Riverdale Season 1 is the best season of the series so far. The first season mainly focused on a murder mystery accompanied by a good plot twist, and that's the reason fans enjoyed Season 1 that much. There's also the fact that Season 1 focused on its characters on a more individual level, thus we all meet the characters a little better. The second season was also pretty good, 
but the third season is where Riverdale started losing some of its fans. According to these fans, the show simply didn't make sense anymore. Nevertheless, there are still a lot of people who enjoy Riverdale and would love to see the series beyond season 7. So far, we've been following the story about Betty, Lily Reinhardt, Veronica, Camilla Mendes, Archie, KJ Apa, and Jughead Cole Sprouse. All of them went through a lot of high school struggles and plenty of murder mysteries. When season 5 was released, we've witnessed one of the biggest changes in Riverdale, the seven-year time jump, the characters all jumped right into adulthood. Season 6 kicked off with a five-episode special set in Riverdale, and as previously told, the second part of season 6 will be released in March this year. Riverdale continued right after the events of season 5. Cheryl unleashed a curse on Riverdale as part of her plan for revenge. As you already know, Betty, Archie, and Jughead's predecessors accused Cheryl's cousin, Abigail, of being a witch and burned her at the stake. And Riverdale welcomed Sabrina Spellman in its fourth episode of season 6. Showrunner Roberto had an interview with Variety, and he said the time for Riverdale to get into Supernatural world has come. The producer explained, That's always a big decision and a big swing, but it felt like, oh well, this could be the time to do it. I want to be here, waiting for him. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Future of Cheryl According to Madeline, everything that happened so far to her character Cheryl makes sense. Her future in the show is pretty uncertain, and we would love to hear your own theories regarding the storylines with her in Riverdale Season 6 Part 2. The Death of Archie At the end of Season 6 Episode 1, Archie is dead. It's taken five and a half years, or over five years to finally kill Archie, but it has happened, Roberto said in an interview with Decider. Sabrina is back According to the showrunner, Sabrina's entrance in Riverdale is totally connected to her end on the chilling adventures of Sabrina. Hashtag Tony For any fans out there wondering if Cheryl and Tony's relationship will last, you have nothing to worry about as the show is still pretty invested in these two. In Riverdale, the two went through a lot, but when Tony needed support, it was Cheryl who helped her. If Riverdale ends with Season 7, we would love to see a happily ever after for Tony and Cheryl. Seeing that Riverdale is still focused on their relationship, we believe they'll get a happy ending. Do you? Jughead and Tabitha It's official. Jughead and Tabitha enter the supernatural world after discovering their apartment is haunted and before expressing their feelings for each other. What do you guys think about this Riverdale couple? Also, do you believe Riverdale will continue beyond Season 7? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.